Welcome to my video. My name is Carl Torsbens and this is a video I made on the Kingman riot after report titled Deniable Plausibility by Invoking the Crystal Ball Management Theory. Charles Ryan. According to the Havasa News, Ryan and Governor Doug Ducey said the monitors bear no blame for missing problems that led to the riots that heavily damaged the Kingman prison. Instead, they pointed to the prison operator, Management and Training Corporation, MTC, saying they hid problems from the monitors. Quote, when you take into consideration what they are to be doing primarily statutorily, and if information is being withheld from them, I don't know how you can expect the monitors to read the crystal ball that they're supposed to know if people are non-communitive. Ryan told the reporters when a report on the riots was released Wednesday. MTC's response was the idea that the ADC monitor reports were positive over the last five years because we were not forthright is not true, MTC spokesman Isa Arnita said Friday. They had five monitors there daily. They had access to all documentation, meetings, and training activities, and could freely move through the facility to inspect compliance and conditions of confinement. The audit results were overwhelmingly positive. The monitors were fully aware of the conditions of confinement, quote unquote. Hence, we see a one-sided finding by the ADOC, findings that don't include one shred evidence that involves ADC's failed responsibility to do their job in the agreement, monitor Kingman, and other private prisons throughout the state, which is something that's yet to be seen if they're doing it over there. Let's add. These monitors at Kingman were given a job by Charles Ryan. They owe him everything. Some of them were rejected and resigned from the DOC under pressure. They sat in their offices, never walked and talked, which is Corrections 101, basic, and pencil whip reports and emailed them. Yet to the day of the riots, nobody challenged them. Charles Ryan's all words, no action. As a chairman of the Research and Best Practices Committee, on his own website he says, without evaluative information. How can we progress, improve? Our committee is committed to gathering and developing accurate information that will allow judicious decision-making about our processes, programs, operations, and use of technologies in corrections. We all know that's BS, don't we? Because nobody did anything on the Kingman incident. Hence my contention is out of sight, out of mind. That's the management style at the ADOC monitoring levels, along with the crystal ball that they keep on their desk to see if anything shows up in, inside there. Deniable plausibility is a powerful tool to have on your side. It saves jobs. However, it jeopardizes public safety and human lives. Charles Ryan is a master of deception. He's a master at hiding the facts. He simply claims that it was believed by the governor that based on having no crystal ball, circumstances or knowledge he didn't know or didn't do or whatever it is that he's supposed to do was found out to be out of order plausible means believable deniable means the ability to deny thus ryan claimed he didn't know was that plausible and he invoked deniability the ability to claim he didn't know or do something even though he and other people have believed 